Okay, who's going to be the bailiff? I hate courtrooms. <laughs> this even looks like a courtroom. Okay. This is the bar, by the way. The, the, across the bar. The court is now open in the session. I'm going to let you know what your rights are. Your rights are that if you want to go to trial, you have the right to subpoena people to come and testify on your behalf. You have the right to remain silent. And you have other rights that, are, that aren't being enumerated that you may, you may possess. So, we're going to hear the cases today. Is Jane Doe present? Yes. Will you come forward? Yes. You can sit in the chair, Jane. So, you've been charged with uh, driving without a license. Vehicle code 2650. Now, are you going to represent yourself or are you going to have an attorney? Myself. You're going to represent yourself. Okay, we're going to have to have you sign this Feretta form. Okay, bailiff, hand her the Feretta form. You're going to fill out the Feretta form and sign it and return it. Here you are, Mrs. Doe. Is that legal? This is yeah. what I have to do? No. Yes, you have to sign the... Otherwise, you can't speak on your behalf. Oh, okay. Okay, bailiff, you hand the form to me. Okay. So, now... <clears throat> You've been charged with uh, driving on a suspended license. How do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? <sighs> guilty. Okay. Uh, the fine is two hundred and fifty dollars. So, pay the. But I can I say something? Sure. But I was out of town when I was supposed to renew it. I was out of the country, and that's why I didn't renew it. And I was on my way down to renew it. Well, the question here, ma'am, is were you driving without a license? Yes, I was. Okay, so you're guilty and you pled guilty, pay the fine. Next case. That's it? That's it? <laughs> oh, I want to argue. <laughs> okay, who's going to be the bailiff? Everybody rise. No, actually, nowadays they say remain seated. <laughs> okay, the court is now in session. And uh, we're here to hear the cases today before the court. Everybody that's going to appear, I'm going to read off a list of your rights under the Constitution. And I want you to become aware of these. Do you have the right to get witnesses. You have the right to remain silent. You have other rights that are not being enumerated here today. So, we're going to call the first case today. Is John Doe here? Is John Doe present? Good morning, I'm here on that matter. Come forward, sir. Cross the bar. I'll cross the bar if you agree that I retain Are you all my John rights Doe? and waive none. Are you John Doe, sir? Well, I've been entrusted with that name all my life. I've got my biological mother here. Back me up on that. I'm going to need I a believe... yes or no answer from you, sir. Are you John Doe? Is John Doe present in the courtroom? Do you seek a living soul? I'm asking you, sir, if you're John Doe. Are you John Doe, yes or no? I am not a name. I'm a living, breathing man. Okay, if John Doe isn't present in the courtroom, I'm going to issue a warrant for his arrest. I object. Okay, I'm issuing a warrant for the arrest of John Doe. I'm here under threat and arrest only, and I do not consent to contract with this court. I told you already, I've been entrusted with that name my whole life. I believe there's been fraud and identity theft. Okay, the defendant is present. Will you step forward, sir? I will cross the bar if you agree I retain all my rights and waive none. Step forward, sir. I can't hear you. For the third time, I'll cross the bar if you agree I retain all my unalienable rights and waive none. Okay. Yes, I agree. Come forward, sir. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here, one of the people of the Republic of California. Have a seat. In this court of record. Get your feet off the table. Yes, ma'am. So, you've been charged with violating Penal Code 148.1. And do, are you going to represent yourself? I object. I have not seen any facts or admissible evidence that jurisdiction has been proven by the plaintiff as required by law, and we can't proceed until that's been proven. 
I need a yes or no answer. So are you going to be speaking for yourself because I can't hear you until you either agree to speak for yourself or have counsel represent you? Well, I would like to exercise my constitutional right to counsel. I've got a friend in the audience I'd like to be able to have as my co-counsel. Is he a licensed attorney? Uh, I don't believe that the Constitution requires that. It just says I have a right to counsel. Well, the state of California requires that anyone that speak on behalf of somebody else be a licensed attorney. So if he is not a licensed attorney, he will not be able to speak on the defendant's behalf. Okay, let the record show I'm being denied my right to counsel. Okay, so you are not going to speak on your own behalf? I'm the authorized representative of the name. Are you an attorney, sir? No. Well, if you're not an attorney, then you can't speak on behalf of the defendant. Object. So you either agree to represent the defendant, you either agree to represent yourself, or you're going to have to get a, get the competent counsel. I object. I shouldn't even have to be here today. There's no need to proceed uh, until jurisdiction is proven. It's, once it's been challenged, it's the plaintiff's jo job to prove jurisdiction. Well, the court has jurisdiction, and you've been cited with Penal Code 148.1. So, my question to you, sir, is yes or no, are you going to represent yourself? I object to these proceedings for the third time. Jurisdiction has not been proven, and we cannot proceed until jurisdiction has been proven. I haven't seen any facts or admissible evidence. You claim it. No. I can't. Maybe you're not understanding. I can't hear your objections unless you agree to represent the defendant. Are you going to represent the defendant? I will appoint counsel for you. Mr. Doe, I'm going to appoint counsel for you. Is the public defender here today? Yes, Your Honor. I'll gladly accept the uh, appointment. Okay, Mr. Rowe, I'm appointing you to represent Mr. Doe. Go out in the hall and explain his situation to him. Can I confirm that I'm not uh, authorizing him to speak on my behalf, but only to be my co-counsel to answer and help with legal then you're going, then you're going to represent yourself. I don't understand. I don't. Uh, I don't have enough knowledge to make a legal determination. Okay. Well, I'm appointing the public defender because apparently you're incapable of understanding the procedure here, and he will be able to sort things out for you. You can talk to him. Come back. We're going to have recess, and you can come back and discuss it. Time to go run around a week and, and look for those people and then come back and say I couldn't find anybody. Okay, Mr. Doe, you've been out and you've talked to uh, Mr. Peabody there, the public defender. Um, are you going to have Mr. Peabody defend you? Well, I gave him a questionnaire and I'm waiting to get it back uh, to see if that he'll be uh, able to. I'm sorry, no, I, I I'm sorry Your Honor, I cannot uh, uh, abide by those terms, and you'll have to find a private uh, attorney. There you go. So, are you going to seek a private attorney? I guess that's the only option I have left. You, if no, you, you can represent yourself if you were willing to sign this Feretta form. Are you willing to sign the Feretta form? I'm not signing anything, and you've already denied me my constitutional right to co-counsel and if you're telling me that you've got to play by this California bar rule, then I'm, I guess I'm going to be forced to go look for a private counsel. Okay, I'm going to schedule a hearing for two weeks from today, and you're going to come back here with assistance with your own counsel. Um, we'll see you back then. Whatever. I, I do not consent. I object. You haven't shown any jurisdiction. We've got no reason to proceed here. For the fourth time now, Mr. Doe, we're done. You've uh, you got knowledge, <laughs> intent, and willfulness to deny me my due Bailiff, process. Bailiff, escort Mr. Doe to the door. This is uh, perversion of the law. <laughs> One more word, it'll be contempt of court, Mr. Doe.
You understand. All rise. Okay, we're going to hear the cases today. And is John Doe present? Good morning. I'm here on that matter. One of the people of the Republic of California in this court of record by special appearance to challenge jurisdiction. I'm here under threat and duress only. I do not consent to contract with this court. Come forward, sir. I will cross the bar if you agree that I retain all my <coughs> rights and waive none. Uh, come forward. I can't hear you. I'm going to repeat myself. I'll pass the bar if you agree I retain all my rights and waive none. Okay, sir. Come forward. Okay. Are you Mr. Doe? Uh, are you seeking a living soul? I'm seeking Mr. Doe. Are you Mr. Doe? Well, I'm not a name. I'm a living, breathing man, and I've been entrusted with that name all my life. I am the authorized representative of the all capital name. Okay, Mr. Doe, you've been charged with Penal Code 148.1, Obstruction of Justice of a Police Officer in the Line of Duty. So, are you going to represent yourself? Uh, I don't. Can we get back to what you just said, the charges? I don't understand the nature and the cause of the charges. And I believe it's my constitutional right to be informed of the nature and the cause of the charges, please. Apparently, you were, a policeman was, uh, let me see here, a policeman was invest, doing an investigation and you refused to uh, um, cooperate with this investigation. So you've been charged with Penal Code 148.1. I'm glad you brought that up because I do have a Fifth Amendment right not to incriminate myself, right? So why are we even here? We're here because the California uh, Penal Code states that if you obstruct an officer in his light of his duty, then you are guilty of a crime. So any, can I point out any laws that aren't in uh, harmony with the Constitution are null and void and uh, obviously I only exercise my Fifth Amendment right to not incriminate myself? Well, apparently he was in, uh, involved in an investigation, and if somebody has committed a crime, a policeman has the right to investigate it as long as he has probable cause. Somebody made the complaint against you, sir, and you, they, that gave the police officer probable cause to investigate the crime. So if you didn't cooperate... But he didn't arrest me for that crime. He arrested me, made, arrested me for, unlawfully arrested me for not providing... Uh, the evidence that he needed to incriminate me. Well, let me look here. It seems that the complaint says Penal Code 148.1, and is and um, so that's what he arrested you for. That's what the complaint is for. So, are you going to speak on your own behalf? I object to these proceedings. Jurisdiction has not been proven. I've seen no evidence of jurisdiction in persona or subject matter. Well, where do you live, sir? That's territorial. I'm talking about in personam and subject matter. Well, the court has jurisdiction if you are a resident. No, I'm an inhabitant and I live on the land of Sonoma County. Okay. But you, how long have you lived here for? On this earth? How long have you lived in? I've never lived in Sonoma County. I don't even know the definition of Sonoma County. I'm telling you, I live on the land here. Okay. So, are you going to represent yourself? <clears throat> I object. Uh, as I stated before, jurisdiction over me has not been proven by the plaintiff as required by law, but therefore I respectfully demand the court must dismiss this matter of prejudice. Uh, District Attorney, are you going to uh, establish that there's, a, that there's jurisdiction over this defendant? Your Honor, uh, he violated the code. Uh, there's obviously jurisdiction here. Uh, I think we should proceed. Okay, we're going to proceed in this matter. I object. It's not obvious to me. I'd like to see some admissible evidence of jurisdiction for the third time. Mr. Doe, if you're going to make arguments, I have to know whether you are going to speak on your own behalf or are you going to get counsel? I told you before, uh, I, the living, breathing man, am here authorized to represent the all capital name. So you're going to represent yourself. You're going to have to fill out this Feretta form. I object. I didn't say I'm representing myself. I said I'm representing the defendant. You are the defendant, Mr. Doe. I object. It's not been proven. Well. Are you going to represent yourself in this matter, yes or no? 
I'm here to represent all capital legal fiction, Mr. Doe. I'm the living, breathing man known as Mr. Doe. I've been entrusted with the all capital name all my life. I'm here to get this straightened out. Do you have a license to practice law? No. If you don't have a license to practice law, you cannot represent another party in this court. So, are you going to represent yourself, or are you going to have assistance of counsel? I object. Uh, what are you referring to? What law are you referring to that claims I need to be a lawyer? The California Penal Code states that you have to be a licensed a lawyer, uh, attorney to practice law in the state of California. In order to speak on behalf of someone else, you are stating that you're the authorized representative of the defendant in this matter, so you're going to have to show me some proof of claim that you have a license to practice law before you can speak on behalf of another party. Okay, well, how about, uh, what about some co-counsel? Can we do that? You're entitled to co-counsel, sir. Okay. Do you have a public defender? Would you like me to appoint a public defender? Uh, Possibly, but I prefer to just uh, call my own co-counsel from the audience. Okay. Is Does he have a license to practice law? Uh, no, I don't. didn't see that requirement under the Sixth Amendment of the Constitution that says I have a right to co-counsel. Okay, well, the California law states that, that any, as I stated to you previously, in order to speak on behalf of another party in court, you're going to need a license to practice law. Does California law supersede the Constitution? I'm asking you, sir, whether he has a license to practice law. Does the, does the uh, plaintiff have a license to practice law? We're not discussing that at this point. We're talking about your position here. I if object. you are going to... I can't hear you. I can't hear your arguments unless you either sign the Feretta form to represent yourself or get assistance of counsel. I object. The judge is showing prejudice by requiring... Uh, me to show licensed practice law and we haven't seen proof from the plaintiff? Objection noted. So All right, let me, let, me, uh, let, me, let me look at the form you got and I'll see if I can agree to that. Bailiff, will you hand the Feretta form to Mr. Doe? Whatever. Okay, give me a second here. I'm going to scribble the chink, make some modifications, sign without recourse. Yeah, all right, fine, whatever, I'll represent myself. Oh, no, wait. I signed the form. Here you go, I signed the form. <coughs> say right okay, myself. now I can hear what you have to say. So, uh, you've been charged with Penal Code 148.1. How do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? I object. I haven't even seen a valid charging instrument. District Attorney, do you have a charging instrument to show Mr. Doe? Yes, sir. Here it is. Let me have a look at this. Is this a, a verified? Yes, certified? It's, been, it's been verified before the um, clerk. Uh, I, don't, I don't understand here. It, it doesn't seem like the prerequisites uh, have been handled to get to this point. There's been no probable cause to even enter this complaint. There's, there's shown no probable cause on the complaint. Mr. Doe, the complaint has been filed, duly filed, as is required by law. Now, you have to answer, are you going to plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Okay, I do not refuse to plead. However, I'd like to have the plaintiff read the charges into the record and certify them. A district attorney, will you do that? Uh, the, the complaint should stand on its own, though, Your Honor. It's been verified. Okay, so, Mr. Doe, guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Uh, the, I thought we are going to have him read a thing into the record. Verify it. Uh, I don't even understand the nature and cause of the charges. Can you at least read the complaint into the record and, and verify it? Certify it?